Okay, we're back relatively quickly, which is nice. Okay. Uh, we should be week 13, week 14, with um, the meteor shower about four or five weeks away. <coughs> hmm. Try and get this all sorted out. Are you heading it? Are you heading out now, Mr. Faramia? Yeah, for a bit. You seem really busy. Good luck with work. Oh, no. It's not for work. No? Well, I guess it's been about long enough. Would you care to join me? Are you sure? See. I'm not crazy about the idea of you going out at night, but I think it's fine if you're with me. Would you like to go for a little nighttime stroll around town every once in a while? Yes! <laughs> Alright, let's get going. It's so dark. Well, the sun's gone down. That's not quite what I meant. It's just so much quieter th than it is during the day. It's not quite midnight yet, but it is very late. All children and good citizens are fast asleep. You're not a good citizen then, Mr. Carmia? You could say that. I'm biologically inclined to be more fit at night. Alright, we're here. Come in, bunny. <coughs> Are we here to um, gamble with Car uh, with Ka Kiri? Yeah. This is. Have you been here before? No, you wouldn't have. If you had, that'd be a serious issue. After taking a quick look over the bar, he took a seat at the counter. He beckoned her over, having her sit next to him. This is a bar. I come a lot with Kiri and the others. Well, not so much the others. Axel doesn't drink. Really? See, he gets a bit funny after just one sip. When he's drunk, his behavior gets really disturbing. You must be really bad if you're scared, Mr. Carmia. I'd kind of like to see it someday. You really don't want to. I'm not kidding. How scary is he? How scary? Like, is he scary enough to make Mr. Kiri angry? Well, good question. Kiri's kind of in a different category. How should I put it? You know how Kiri never says exactly what he means, but you can usually understand what he's saying anyway? He relentlessly attacks with logic, not letting you escape. That's how Kiri works. But Axel is the opposite when he's drunk. It's like he's getting punched in the back of the head. He's not only completely unreasonable, but he's impossible to control. Hmm. I can't imagine it at all. I'm not sure there's any way I could explain it. He's just completely different from how he usually is. Now that just makes me more curious. Being curious is all well and good, but don't get him drunk, okay? I'm not kidding about this. <laughs> just how crazy is Axel when he's drunk? <laughs> oh, we should order something. I'll have a gin and tonic, I think. Would you like a soft drink, Signorina? Soft? He slid the menu over to her and tapped the drawing of a glass of milk with his finger. <laughs> See, that's what they call drinks with no alcohol in them. I doubt you're as much of a problem drunk as Axel, but I, it'd be bad if something happened. Good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Good. Pick whatever you like. 
from this selection, of course, he said, bringing his face closer to hers with a smile. Okay, how about this? All right, got it. Bartender, order up. I was just looking for you, sir. You, you. Your name is very difficult to pronounce. Please give me a moment. <laughs> My guess is Yehudi. Skipping out on work. She turned around to find a jovial man and standing behind her. His name was Y E H U D I. <laughs> he was one of Axel's subordinates. So, what if I am? I need to borrow you for a sec to talk to you about something. Which is definitely the way you talk about work in front of the dawn. Talk to me about something. Yes, I'll make it quick, I promise. Oh. Don't worry about me. Go ahead. Grazie. I'll be right back. Don't you move a muscle, you hear me? Okay, I got it. And watch our drinks. Bunny smiled and watched Karamea leave. The two men slipped out the door. I can't believe Mr. Karamea still has to work this late. She slouched forward onto the counter. Huh? Her eyes naturally settled on something in front of her. Alcohol. Oh no. <laughs> the drink Karamea had ordered. Countless bubbles danced about in the liquid, sending a lime bobbing up and down on the surface. I want to drink it. <laughs> She knew she was about to do something she shouldn't, but that only made her heart race more. All of Karamea's warnings had only made her even more curious. <laughs> You'll never find out if I just try a little, right? With that half-baked half -baked excuse, she found herself reaching for the glass. Signorina! Oops. <laughs> Just one sip knocked you out, huh? Uh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Carmia. I know, I know. <laughs> I love you because you're so nice, Mr. Kyria. I know, I know. You really are a troublesome young lady. Duh. Look, we're back at your room. You sleep tight until morning. Don't. Huh? Don't leave. <laughs> what do you mean, don't leave? <coughs> Come on, Zinyanya, you can't have a man stay in your room. Maybe it'd be fine during the day, but it's night time. You're going to make me think you're trying to seduce me. I am. I want to stay with you, Mr. Karamia. Alcohol. Uh. Uh. Alcohol. Oh, do you think we're still in the bar? At least I know now, all too well, that I shouldn't let you drink. I'll have to watch out next time. You'll be more careful from now on, so let me leave. Okay? No, don't go. I love you, Mr. Kermit. Mm. Huh? 
What am I gonna do with you? How am I supposed to leave with you gripping my sleeve so firmly? I guess I have to stay. For a bit. Dog. <coughs> That's the problem with this setup at home. I can't reach my water. She loves me because I'm nice, huh? Am I like a father to her? Mm -mm. That must be it. Seeing as how she's let so much of her guard down around me. I kind of think of her like a daughter, too. Well, that's going to be awkward a bit later. Let's see. A daughter. That's why I'm so worried about her. That's why I feel so anxious when she's out of my sight and I don't know where she is. I'm sorry for being such a worry about. Great. <laughs> That's great. I wonder what business Mr. Karamiya has to take care of. Beats me. There's no reason I would know. You can find out once we get to the meeting. Well, of course. Warm afternoon rays of light fell from the sky. Bunny and Axel were making their way down the main street toward the tower as Karamiya had called for them. Oh. What's wrong, Axel? Uh. Axel didn't respond. Instead, he crouched down where he stood. He picked a piece of paper off the ground and stood back up. Hmm? It's trash. I wonder who threw it away. He said, tossing it into a nearby garbage can. There was even a garbage can right there. Yeah, I can't imagine someone would pollute their own territory. Are you something of a neat freak, Axel? Huh? What? I mean, you prefer things to be clean, right? Isn't clean better than dirty? Yeah. So, in other words, yes? Uh. Oh, I get it. No. Don't say no before you hear what I said. What, what I'm gonna say? That's rude. Well, I'm just telling you ahead of time. Your conjecture is wrong. Okay, try me. How should I say this now? I guess I was just wondering if you liked picking up trash, Axel. <sighs> well, why are you sighing? Never mind. Let's get going. Mr. Carmia is waiting for us. Senorina, <coughs> 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 Axel, over here. Mr. Car and me, and good afternoon. <laughs> Please don't just stand there and stare at me. It's creepy. What a surprise. I wasn't expecting to find you here, you here too, Mr. Kiri. Oh, did I forget to mention it? Car Mia, were you trying to exclude me? You're the absolute worst. I've misjudged you. Of course not. I just forgot to tell the signorina. That's all, that's all fine. You two must be thirsty. Order whatever you like. It's on me. Oh, thank you so much. I'll have a double cappuccino. You can get your own damn drink. <coughs> mm. 
A festival hosted by Familia Oz. A festival? A festival? The King's Festival? <coughs> Pardon me. Indeed. It's a fair bit smaller in scale than the beauty pageant, but an event is an event. Uh, I can't wait. A lot of shops will be participating, right? I can't wait. They'll be selling all sorts of stuff at the stalls. It's pretty exciting. Well, I do hope you can set aside that excitement until the day of the festivities. We have some things to sort out first. After consulting with Karamia, we've decided to incorporate your perspective into the festival this time. That's why we called you here, Signorina. My perspective? Are you sure? What a strange thing to say. You're a woman, aren't you, Miss Bunny? Well, yeah, but it feels like a big responsibility. It's just a festival. You don't need strength for it. All you have to do is tell us what you want to do. Um. Axel opened his mouth slightly, but stopped before he said anything else. What? <sighs> Underneath the gaze of everyone else, Axel closed his mouth and hung his head instead, instead of continuing. What's wrong, Axel? I'm not a woman. Well, that much is obvious. So that means my opinion shouldn't be reflected in the festival. Oh, did you have any idea for the festival, Axel? Axel looked at Bunny and nodded. It's not like I was saying that the Signorina was the only one who could give suggestions. We just preferred it. <laughs> it's rare to hear you speak up like this. Why don't you tell us what you're thinking? <coughs> With a tentative nod, Axel put his hands on the table as if bracing himself. I think we should have a chocolate river. A river? Of chocolate. Step one. We set up a path full of hot chocolate that runs throughout the territory. Okay. Step two. People dip items into the river and eat them. I think it'd be tasty. Oh, so you want to have a big chocolate fondue event that runs throughout our whole territory. Exactly. Rejected without question. But why? <laughs> <coughs> Not only is it far too grand in scope, I can't even begin to understand what you find entertaining about it. If you absolutely must do it, you can set it up in your own room and enjoy it by yourself, that is all. Mm. We could do it at the mansion. Let's do it at the mansion. If we can't do it for the festival, let's do it at the mansion. At the mansion? Yeah, I'm sure if we did it in the yard. No. Mr. Kiri. If you did it out in the yard, it'll attract ants. And following the ants will be even larger animals. I cannot allow it. Oh. So we can't? Oh, come on, Kitty. Cut them some slack. Don't crush their spirits. Bunny, Axel, I think a chocolate river might be a bit overkill, but... How about I buy you a chocolate fondue set? You'll have to make do with it. Yes, sir, I will. Isn't that wonderful, Axel? Uh, Mar Mr. Carmi is such a nice person. <laughs> I found you, Oz. A cool voice cut into the conversation when Bunny turned around. Caesar was standing there behind them. Carmia let out a frustrated sigh and waved his hands as if that would somehow shoo him away. Go home, Wolfgang. Do you really think anyone's stupid enough to go home just because you tell them to?
If no such person exists already, you're certainly the leading candidate to take that spot, aren't you? We're busy preparing for the festival. We don't have time to play with you. Festival? Yes, Femi and Oz will be hold hosting a festival next week. Bunny, that's not information you should be giving to Caesar. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Don't worry about it. It's not like you can unsay it. One second, let me move my mic. Oh, shit. Oh, shoot. I didn't mute that, and so you did hear that crash. Okay, I dropped that. Don't worry about things. Everything's fine. I meant to mute that while I moved it, but I didn't. Okay, alright, cool. Um, carrying on. <laughs> Headphones warning. Karamia, aren't you the one who spilled the beans about the festival first? I guess so. Next week. Next week, huh? Yes, because of that, we do not have the time to deal with you right now. I had a feeling. No, I knew it wasn't today. I just came to see what you were up to, and to see your faces contorted in fear. Hmm. I will make you mine next week, pray. Cry and wail all you like. It won't do you any good. Uh... Fear me. Oh, I am a little afraid, so don't you worry. Why oh, you? <laughs> Underestimate me all you like. I'll be the one laughing in the end. Farewell, fools. And then I assume he like flips out his cape and turns to leave. <laughs> the person who saunters into anime territory alone and unguarded to have a little chat is the bigger fool, if you ask me. Seriously, he's quite an odd one. Isn't that why he's living in the forest, after all? Erk. Uh, let's... Hit up our boy! <laughs> Gambling, huh? You're here, Mr. Karamiya. Hmm? Did you need something, Sinyarana? Hmm? Nothing in particular. <laughs> What's that about? I just wanted to see you. Oh, are you busy? Well, kind of, but I can make time for a guest. That would be you, Sinyarana. I can't keep you waiting. Really? See, officially I'll just be taking a little break. <laughs> hmm. As she watched him shuffle through the papers on his desk, she couldn't help but be curious. What kind of work are you doing today? Gambling. Gambling? He nodded, patting one of the stacks of papers on the desk. Huh. 
The casino will be open during the day at the next festival. I was looking over the reports to get an idea of how it will be managed, what the security is going to be like, what the stakes will be, and so on. Um, sounds fun? Okay. <coughs> Huh, hold on, give me a minute. Gosh, that cough doesn't get better. Okay. <clears throat> Sounds like fun. Can I play too? Sure, if you have some money. Money. Senorina, you didn't burn all your money on those matches, did you? I still have some left over. Only a little, though. <laughs> How did Nande get you so bad anyway, huh? I'm sure you would have done the exact same thing if she told you about how awful her life was and all the snow in Russia. <laughs> By the way, did she say that her grandfather abuses her or something like that? How'd you know? <coughs> That's the con she always plays. Oh. But she was crying. Acting. Acting! Oh. Hey, you didn't really believe those obvious, cr obvious crocodile tears of hers, did you? You're too soft. Someone that easily deceived would make an easy mark at the casino. Mark? See, you'd get chewed right up. Though if you were to tell Kiri, I'm sure he'd get even with them for you. Mr. Kiri would help me out? It's a little less that he'd help you out and more that he'd enjoy getting revenge. He's a genius when it comes to gambling. Unlike Kiri, I'm not very good at cards. I'm more of a physical kind of guy, so stuff like slots is more my thing. I'm no good at psychological warfare. Warfare. Warfare? Warfare. I don't like. I don't like how I went about that. I'm no good at psychological warfare. Psychological warfare? See. <laughs> Luck is a factor in card games, but you also need to have a knack for deceiving your opponents. Kiri's a master at deception. That's why he's so good at it. I can't bluff. It always shows on my face. Whenever I try to hold it back, I end up with a really weird expression. It just doesn't work at all. A weird expression, huh? Now I'm curious. Then how about we play a round of cards? Are you sure? <laughs> of course. It'll be just for fun, so I'll go easy on you. Don't cry if you lose, okay? Okay. Ah, uh, I lost again. Carmia smiled sympathetically as he gathered the cards up from the table. After stacking them back into a neat deck, he returned them to their box. <clears throat> You're so easy to read, Signorina. I can just about see your hand on your face. You're the same as Dekarmia. You always start smirking when you get good cards.
I do, don't I? I guess we're birds of a feather. Playing cards with Kiri is exhausting, but it's actually fun with you. Would you play with me again? Of course, anytime. Aww. Lots of secrets. <laughs> How can I learn to keep a poker face? Why are you asking me? Man boy, someone who is very busy with things that are not keeping a poker face. <laughs> you seem like you'd be good at it. I'm afraid that's not true at all. See, right, you have such a strict divide between your public and private life. Speaking of which, who am I talking to right now, man boy? Indeed, I am the one on duty at the moment. On duty? Then what are you doing in a bar? He is attending to me. Old man, it's not often that I see you here. Drinking out today? Yes, I had some business to attend to. Dear Carmia, why do you want to learn how to keep a poker face? To beat Kiri at cards, I can't stand losing all the time. I see. That Kiri certainly is formidable. At our last tournament, his skills were most splendid. Too splendid, even. The tournament was over after a single round. Come to think of it, we've never competed. Care to play around, Karamir? Sure. How much do you want to bet? Wagering money is dull. The world is overflowing with money. Why don't we wager something more valuable? more valuable yes something one of a kind perhaps it should be something that will give the winner unparalleled joy and the loser endless despair I think I'm going to have to pass. I don't think I own anything that could bring an old man like you joy. <laughs> and if I were to take it as a bet, as a debt, I think you'd be extremely demanding. A wise decision. Hmm. How unfortunate. When the fancy next strikes you, please, play a game with me. He. <laughs> Creepy boys. Creepy boys. <laughs> Were you waiting long? Oh no, I just got here. I'm sorry for making you accompany me today of all days. <coughs> I 
I'm accompanying you precisely because it's today of all days. There will be more people around because of the festival. I have to remain focused on keeping you safe. Thank you. Mr. Caesar did say he'd be showing up. Thank you. I feel much safer knowing you'll be with me, Axel. You're welcome. Hello, Signorina. Axel, are you enjoying yourselves? Mr. Karamia, Mr. Kiri. We were just about to take a look around. Really? Now? Well, please go on ahead. <coughs> Kiri smiled as he opened his arms wide before Axel and Bunny. He had a candy sitting in each palm. What? Gifts! Today is the day of the festival. It's special. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Kiri. No trouble at all. Hmm, it's delicious. See, Karamia? Well, of course it's delicious. Kiri gave a mischievous smile and Bunny cocked her head to the side. Um, why are you smiling? This is kind of amusing to see someone eat a poison candy and call it delicious right before your eyes. Poison? Mm. I, I swallowed it. Kiri, how dare you? Wh wh why poison? Poison? Well, Karami's homemade candy couldn't be anything but poison, after all. What? Mr. Karamia's handmade candy? <clears throat> I made it at one of the booths over there. It turned out pretty good, right? Soft and tasty? Yeah. Right? But man, calling it poison is pretty uncalled for. <clears throat> you can't really blame me for calling a spade a spade. You say that, yet you finished the rest of them off yourself. You just wanted to insult my handiwork again, didn't you? Well, I guess you could say that. I... I feel kind of exhausted from all this. Of course you do. Keeping up with Kiri is tiresome. So there you are, my prey. Mr. Caesar! Hail punctual. You certainly are earnest. He's an imbecile. An earnest person wouldn't be brandishing a sword in town like that. Well, I guess you have a bit of a point. Stand back, Bonnie. Oh, okay. Hmm. Have her stand back all you like, but I'm still taking her. I announced my intentions earlier. I demand a duel. A duel? Yes, a duel. If I win, you give her to me. If I lose, I'll withdraw. I'd appreciate it a lot more if you killed yourself out of embarrassment instead. What do we do, Kiri? Why not take him up on it? It might be a nice spectacle for the festival. You sure have some nerve. Hmm. All right, I'll take you on. Oh, the Don himself is taking up the fight. I thought I told you this before. Familia Oz is hosting this festival. <laughs> As the Don, I can't exactly ignore a rambunctious wolf pup causing trouble like this. Is a weakling who has to rely on guns really one to talk? Come, I'll chop you up with my blade. I'm not sure being sliced through ribbon sounds very fun. Kiri, give me a sword too. 
Very well. If you lose, I'm going to laugh at you. You will laugh at me anyway. I'm not going to lose. I don't intend to, s to make myself look bad in front of the signorina. I'm not handing her over to you. And then presumably everything is fine. <laughs> <coughs> hmm. Well, we've gotten to the point where Karami is our only option, which is good. I think that happens 15 weeks? I don't know. I have a rough a rough understanding of when things happen and how they happen, but that's I uh, uh... I hit the mic again. Gosh darn it. <coughs> We're carrying on. <clears throat> I didn't realize you knew how to use a sword, Mr. Karamia. See, you to beat it into me. No, maybe it's less beat and more stab. Bloodshedding versus piercing damage. Slashing damage? Flashing damage. Huh. Did he really? See, after the experience, Dr. Robin had some harsh words for me. You see, Kiri forced me to learn. He was all, how can you be the Don if you can't even fight with close range weapons? He said. Then he came at me full force, swinging a real sword that was awful. I was still a complete amateur. Mr. Kiri. But, Mr. Carmia, what happened to you? Well, if I died, I wouldn't be right here, right now, would I? Thankfully, I'm still in sound health. I might have some scars from back then, but as you can see right now, I'm healthy as can be. Oh, well, that's good. I figured that I'd never have to use a sword if I kept a gun with me, but the practice has proven surprisingly useful. I'm still upset about how he taught me, but I do owe Kiri for what he did. Though... <laughs> that Caesar really has some guts. He just keeps coming and coming. He's so persistent, it's actually almost admirable. <laughs> I know what you mean. Mm, what the fuck? Okay. Um. Hey, now, you know he was trying to kill you, right? That's nothing to laugh about. Is what I'd like to say, but. Ah. As a member of Familia Oz, I will protect you, Bunny. I want you to keep on smiling. A happy face gives us all energy. N N Mr. Carmia, please don't pat my head so much. You'll mess up my hair. <laughs> my bad. Hmm. Huh. Mm hmm. Huh. On the one hand, it would be really awkward if he continued to treat us like a child. Um, and I'd really like for him not ever to consider us his daughter again, especially if we're gonna go through the rest of this route. Which I assume results in some off-screen boning at some point. But I also think that Can I Depend You is gonna alert his protective- Ah! I can- I- Ah! The girl, she wants to feel safe around me and such and so on. 
but I really, really would like for him to stop treating us like a child. Oh, okay, it was the other one. <coughs> Please don't treat me like a child. Sorry, you are a girl after all. I guess I shouldn't do that to girls. Definitely not ones who hang around you all the time and seem like they might show interest in you. You shouldn't. Now let me return the favor. What? Hey, stop. See? Not so nice, huh? Please stop doing it to me. Okay, I get it. It's my duty as the Don of this Familia, right? What is? Ah, I was just talking to myself, don't worry about it. Oh, but I am worried about it. Do tell. <laughs> I must be at the end of my rope if I'm asking you. Well, it's about the signorina. <clears throat> I want to protect her because I'm the don of this familia, right? True, you did declare that she was under our protection at the meeting. We'd be the laughing stock of the other family if you didn't follow through on that declaration. So, do you intend to back out? No, of course not. Then whatever are you fretting about? Well... Oh, I know. It's love. Um. Love. What are you talking about? Blushes heavily as if we don't know what the word love means and how it applies to the situation. <coughs> I am saying... What I'm saying is that you, my idiot lion, are in love with Miss Bunny. But you don't think it's possible? To the best of my knowledge, you two have spent a lot of time together. You talk about her often when she isn't around. Anytime something happens, it's always Signorina this, Signorina that. I thought it was some kind of tactic to give me some kind of neurosis over her. I get it, though. You're in love with her. You don't get to decide that. Can you refute my hi hypothesis? Is that, um, mm, this hurts. Okay, here we go. Can you refute my hypothesis, though? I don't know. Falling in love with her. What poor taste you have. Poor taste? Anyone would think she's adorable. See, you are in love with her. Don't put words in my mouth. I don't like it. Then don't leave it hanging open. Kiki. <laughs> oh, if it isn't Miss Bunny. Mr. Curie, Axel. It was just another day with people going about their business along the main street. 
Bunny's hair flew about as she turned around to face Kiri and Axel. Kiri stood rather pointedly, unburdened, next to Axel, who was carrying a large bag. Whatever are you doing here? Are you lost? Oh no, I'm just taking a walk. What about you two? Shopping. Oh really? You look like you're getting along rather well. We absolutely are not. Indeed, please don't say such disturbing things. Sorry. But if you're shopping together... I'm only carrying his things because I'm his subordinate. Like he said, Axel is just acting as my cot. Why couldn't you have just brought one of those instead? Because I don't want to. I don't care to dirty my own hands. I hate the thought of, of so much as pushing a cart. Uh, I know. Why don't we walk with me if we... Why don't you walk with me if you have nothing better to do, Miss Bunny? Are you sure? Of course. If nothing else, you'll certainly make for more stimulating conversation than Axel. Uh, what about Mr. Caramia? Did you need something with the dawn? Oh no, I just thought it'd be nice if Mr. Caramia were here too. Why would you think that? No special reason, I just figured the more the merrier, right? I see. I'm sure Caramia would cry from joy if he heard that. But unfortunately he's busying himself with documents in his office right now. Pardon me. Also, let me mute this so I can move the mic again. It's resting on my knee and I have knee problems. Okay. I'm terribly sorry. You'll just have to make do with me. Isn't this? Their walk ended in the Familia Boots' territory. Bunny had frozen in her tracks, but Kiri walked right by her without a trace of concern and went inside. The meeting room. It's been quite a while since I last came here with you. It really has. Maybe I should say something like, it really takes me back? The first time she'd been brought here was right after she'd woken up in town. Back then, she'd hardly known left from right when she'd been presented to the mafiosa. She touched the, touched the table, remembering how nervous she was. Oh, you're back. Miss Pache. Hmm. It's odd to see you here, Kiri. Well, there's a time for everything, you know. Pache repeated the last few words of Kiri's response to herself before looking over to Bunny. So you've dragged Bunny along with you. Indeed, we just thought we'd swing by while we were out shopping. Couldn't you at least phrase it the other way around? This is an important meeting. Aren't these meetings just for going on at length about things that are already settled? I don't find such matters particularly important. Oh, but it is. This is the biggest festival of the year. Bunny, I'm sorry, but would you mind stepping out of the room? Mr. Kiri... My apologies, but this catted young lady, as Karamiya calls her, is rather stubborn. Axel, could you go with Bunny? Understood. <laughs> I wonder what they're talking about in there. Curious? Yeah, a little. Oh, but you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. It's not a big deal. I agree with Kiri. I don't really think this meeting is particularly important. They're discussing the festival. 
festival? Didn't we just have that? That was a festival hosted by Familia Oz. This one is a big yearly event, held by all the family together. It's called the Meteor Shower Gathering. On the night of the festival, the sky is full of shooting stars. Shooting stars? That must be pretty. As long as it's not cloudy. Does it ever get cloudy? Of course. It's not like it's always clear, but even so. To the best of my knowledge, there's never been a year where we couldn't see the shooting stars. I'm sure we'll be able to see them. Oh, I can't wait. But I feel like all these festivals are going to make my head spin. Well, you'll just have to take care not to get too dizzy. How well? The Mafia family must be getting along pretty well if they're hosting a festival together, right? Please don't say such distasteful things. Kiri came out of the Familia Boots' castle with soft footsteps. It just didn't feel right, unless everyone's not getting along, he smirked. Mr. Kiri! <coughs> over already yes what a droll meeting not that there's really such a thing as a meeting that isn't droll in the first place here we go here we go here we go I'm saving because I'm scared <laughs> You're cooking again, Mr. Carmia? See, but that was earlier. This is for dinner. We only just finished lunch. Yes, but it's just that I've been so busy lately that we've only been eating pasta. Sometimes it's nice to make something more elaborate. Pasta gossip. I'm going to make something so delicious even Kiri will groan, so just you wait. Okay. I didn't mean literally, wait. I know, but I want to watch. I like watching you cook. Really? You sure have strange tastes. Well, I don't mind. Watch for as long as you want. Mr. Karmi is so good at this. He's so fast at chopping up the vegetables, and he seems to be very thoughtful about how he puts things in the pan. Compared to you, Mr. Carmia, I... Compared to me what? Huh? You were talking to yourself. What's bothering you? It's not really bothering me. I was just thinking about what a good cook you are, Mr. Carmia. Oh. Well, I've had a lot of practice, after all. I was really bad when I started out, you know. Really? Yes, lions don't usually cook. What do you say? Would you help me out? Huh? Are you sure? Yes. I'm not about to let you go on without any skills. Trial and error is critical to learning. I'm gonna help. Well, I guess I'll take you up on that offer. Good. What should I have you do? He pulled a basket out of the cupboard and reached for the pile of vegetables on the, on the counter. After putting a few of them into the basket, he slid it over to her. And here's a knife and a chopping board. After testing the blade's sharpness, he set both items in front of her. Just cut them up however to start. Just however? See, 
I'll teach you how to proper cut snap out it. I am. <laughs> See, I'll teach you proper cuts next time. For now, you just need to get used to handling a knife. It's sharp, so be careful, okay? Okay, I'll try my best. Just relax and take it easy. Okay. I'm moving so stiffly, I can't cut very well. Didn't he just teach me how to do it? Put it at an angle, then move forward and back. Oh, it's stuck. I can't move it. What do I do? She looked up, seeking assistance, but Carmi's back was turned to her. I'll just start by taking it out. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Bunny, are you okay? Yeah, I just nicked my finger a little. That's not a little. You really cut yourself. What did you- <sighs> No, we'll talk later. We need to stop the bleeding first. Here, a handkerchief. Put pressure on the wound. Okay. Antiseptic, antiseptic. Ah, uh, that's right. We just ran out. <laughs> Let's go to the clinic. Huh? Right now? See, we can leave your wound untreated. Uh, I'm fine, it's not that bad. Calm down. Don't say that. Come on, we're going. Dr. Robin! Huh? Why are you so out of breath? Bonnie is injured, please help her. <laughs> Injured? Well, we can't have that. Where is she? Mr. Karamia, could you run a little slower? I'm sorry. I was in a hurry to get to the doctor as soon as possible. Bunnies, the injured party? Isn't that obvious? Are you sure you're okay under that mask? She looks fine to me. She isn't. She cut her finger. Badly. Please take care of it. Oh, that's all. What do you mean, that's all? This is serious. I don't mean to trivialize the situation, but it is a rather minor wound. <coughs> I know, but we were out of antiseptic, so the wound is still untreated. It's dangerous to leave it like that, right? Cracky. If it's happened on the Oz premises, I don't think there's much worry of infection. It'll heal on its own. Are you abandoning your duty, Doctor? Fine. Fine. I will treat this wound with the utmost care. Karamia, you can be strangely overprotective at times. That's just because I love my familia so much. So much. But uh, to my knowledge, she isn't a member of Familia Oz just yet, is she? You're almost like father and daughter, don't you agree, Bunny? <laughs> I guess you could say that. <laughs> oh, God. 
gosh. I don't know. I need a sip of water to steal myself before we go through this. <coughs> If you're going to say something like that, at least say we look like lovers. We don't look that far apart in age, do we? It doesn't bother me that we look like lovers or that we look like father and daughter. What bothers me is that these two things have come up in the same conversation. <laughs> I want to die. Huh? What happened? <coughs> no, no, nothing. It's just a figure of speech. Don't think about it too hard, please. Believe me this time. I don't really follow. Could you be more specific? I didn't say anything to her directly. Don't get the wrong idea. Huh. Okay. What kind of relationship do you think the Sinirena and I have? Guardian and Ward? See, that's it. You're right. You're so smart, Axel. Uh, please don't pet my head. <laughs> <laughs> I love this because they, there was a comment asking how tall how tall we think everybody is and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Axel is taller than Carmy. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> no, it's just that Dr. Robin said the Signorina and I look like father and daughter. And then, for some reason, unbeknownst to me entirely, I blurted out something about thinking we looked more like a couple. What a weird thing for me to say. Why would I say something like that? You're a couple. No, of course not. That has nothing to do with anything. Nobody said that. Why would you say that? I mean, at least I don't think so. The senior in the... Me Never mind. It's nothing, really. Uh-huh. The issue is that I said it in front of her. What'll I do if she gets the wrong idea? What do you think I should do? I have no idea. I have no experience with romance. Maybe you should talk to Kiri. No, no way. I am absolutely not talking to Kiri. If you require knowledge, shouldn't Kiri be the one you talk to? Oh, he's knowledgeable, all right, but that knowledge comes with a lot of unpleasant extras, like his sarcasm and pranks. <laughs> True. If I were in your position, I wouldn't go to him either. Right? What should I do? You could try... talking to her? You could try... <laughs> Honesty? But we won't. <laughs> because... Mm. That's too, uh... Too big of an ask. Oh, did that happen last week? Yes, Axel was carrying Mr. Carey's things. Axel really has it tough. 
It's not just Axel. He's made me carry his stuff or run errands for him plenty of times. No one in Familiars can defy Lord Kiri. He's such a princess. Princess? Sounds like a handful. He sounds like a handful. He really is. That's why I can't just ignore him. You can't ignore him? <coughs> yeah. If even I start to turn on him, he'd be all alone. Even if he says he doesn't care. I do. Being isolated doesn't feel very pleasant. You're so thoughtful, Mr. Carmia. Well, I'm certainly glad to hear that, but I'm pretty sure Kiri just thinks I'm too soft. But you know, it's really hard to be alone. I've been through it before, so I know how it feels. Before? Let's see. It was a long, long time ago. Oh my! Oh my, 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 my! Oh, Signorina. Hello, Miss Heidi. My! I thought I saw some familiar faces in the middle of the street, so it was you two. I thought you were going to blow me off, but I'm in a good mood today, so I'll let you be. <laughs> well, I'm very grateful for that. Miss Heidi, did something nice happen to you? Now that you mention it, that must be it. I almost never see the Signorina in such high spirits. No. <laughs> Have you heard? Have you heard? Well, you see, the you know what is coming up, you know. You know what? It starts with an M and ends with an E. You know what I'm talking about. Starts with an M and ends with an E. <laughs> Meteor shower gathering. Oh, the meteor shower gathering. Bingo, you're pretty perceptive for a little girl. Uh, I just can't wait for the gathering. So what are you gonna wish for? Spill. Wish? Oh, not telling, hmm? What an odious little girl you are. Ena, Senorina, don't sound so harsh. I'm sure she just doesn't know. You know about the meteor shower gathering, right, Senorina? Yes, it's a festival where you can see a bunch of shooting stars. You're not wrong about that, but the main event isn't really watching the stars. <laughs> they say that if you wish on the shooting star on the day of the festival, it'll come true. Really? See. That said, I don't know if the wish should really come true though. Young girls like the Signorina here are infatuated with stories like that, aren't they? Even I'm infatuated with them. I know my wishes will come true. What are you wishing for, Miss Heidi? Now that's a good question coming from you, little girl. I plan to wish for an exercise machine. The kind that can make you lose weight while you're asleep. An exercise machine? Now of course you know I'm plenty attractive already, but I always want to strive for more. Is it out of the question to lose weight by actually putting in some effort? Uh, 
You really are stupid, um, aren't you? Unlike you all, I don't have oodles of free time to waste on losing weight. If my wish doesn't come true, I'll just order Peter to shoot all the stars out of the sky. Oh, uh, those poor shooting stars. Now, I have to decide if I'm going to tease people or not. So we know we have our little meteor shower bit, and then we launch into the actual end story bit. But the question is, do I stop now and record the rest of it all in one bit? Or do I do the meteor shower bit and record all the other part of it as one bit? Hmm. <laughs> I want to do the meteor shower bit. Honestly. We've gotten so far. We came all the way here. <laughs> huh. Thanks for giving me a chance to get some fresh air, Bunny. It's no trouble at all. I can't do much else for you. Thanks for inviting me out for a walk. It seems like there are many pe there are more people than usual today. <laughs> I'm sure it's because the meteor shower gathering is coming up. Because of the gathering? He nodded. On the day of the gathering, it's a customary to turn down the lights so everyone can see the stars. It's not like you can really expect all the lights in all the homes to be turned off though, right? Hmm. <laughs> Instead, most people just opt to put up some curtains. Because of that, the fabric in tailor shops are seeing a lot of business. There are a lot of curtains to choose from the decorative purposes. For the decorative purposes. Anyway, before you know it, everyone will be buying curtains. Oh, so everyone's out in town because of that. See, si, of course. That's not the only reason they're out. They've got other things to prepare for the festival. Everyone seems really excited for it. Yes, I mean, it is the biggest festival in town, right? <laughs> exactly. <coughs> Are you excited about the festival too? Eh, reasonably. Reasonably. See, I've just got so much to do before it comes, and even when it is in full swing, I'll still be busy. I probably won't have much opportunity to really participate. Oh. Oh, but don't let that get you down, okay? The people behind the scenes get to have their own kind of fun. Behind the scenes? Curious, huh? Well, that's a secret. <laughs> no fair, now I'm really curious. <laughs> I knew it. What have you wished for in the past, Mr. Karimiya? Me? Huh. Well, that's a good question. I forget. Forget? I think about it a little every year, but I'm too busy to really give it a lot of thought. I'm occupied with less pleasant things, so I can't really remember what I've wished for. But I'm happy now. Maybe my wish came true? You're happy? See, I'm very blessed to be able to spend my time like this. But aren't you busy with the festival this year? 
About as much as I usually am. Then why not think of a wish now? Now? Yes, that way even if you forget it, I'll remember. I can even make your wish for you. I see. Thinking about it now, huh? No, I'm good. I will give it some proper thought this year. I appreciate the sentiment though, Signorina. Let's head back to the mansion. <clears throat> Who's that coming this way? As if Kiri's music isn't playing. Oh, it's Kiri. <laughs> My, aren't you two a pair? Whatever are you doing here? We were just taking a look at the festival preparations. We're heading back now. What are you up to? Excellent question. Let's say I'm headed to the bar now. Let's say? What's that supposed to mean? I wouldn't want the two of you interfering with my business. Well. Until tomorrow. Good night, Mr. Kiri. That's weird. Good morning. You'll seem unusually tired. Things got rather heated at the bar last night. Time just flew by, so I didn't return home until quite late. So how many people did you make cry? Two. No, three, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> I really got into it and ended up emptying their pockets. You know, if you don't go easy on people sometimes, you're going to run out of people to gamble with. I'm not concerned. Idiots who thoughtlessly hurl themselves into the flames will never learn. So, what were you doing yesterday? What are you talking about? Weren't you out walking with her? You weren't actually just going back to the estate, were you? We did. Liar. I'm telling the truth. <sighs> you aren't a pubescent boy, you know. Just what were you expecting? She's all alone in this world, after all. It's only natural that men and women pair up. If you don't hurry up and tell her how you feel, someone else might steal her away. Tell her how I feel? I... Then how about I take her for myself? You like the Signorina too? See, your true feelings slipped out. You were setting me up for that. <laughs> no use crying ever spilled milk, right? Be honest with your feelings before you regret it. I'll be there to pick up the pieces after you've torn yourself apart over it. I wonder if that means we're getting the the the, the transfer thing. <laughs> I'm gonna be so excited. I want to see how it goes. Bunny, are you ready? 
Yes, but are you sure this is okay? Huh? Is what okay? I didn't think you'd be ex escorting me like this. You don't like the idea of me taking you? No, that's not what I meant. I just thought you were busy. I don't wouldn't want you to get in the way of anything. I wouldn't want to get in the way of anything. Oh. Well, today's special. I'm sure even Kiri would allow it. No, he'd probably get mad. Mr. Carmia? Oh, it's nothing. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. We're fine. Now let's not waste what time we have. Shall we, Signorina? Yes. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, Mr. Carmia, the stars, they... Oh, I vanished. Don't get so down. There will be more than enough shooting stars to exhaust your interest. But you can only see them today? See, they stop right after midnight. Why that is, I'm not really sure. Then I better watch for them real hard. I'll burn them into my eyes. <laughs> You're welcome to try. But if you just keep staring at the sky, you'll fall over. Watch where you're walking. Okay. Sir, do you have a moment? Huh? What's wrong? There's some trouble down that street. Travel? Yes, it seems there's a burglar on the prowl. Oh, it never ends today, does it? Grazie for the report. A yeah, burglar, huh? Mr. Carmia, could you wait here, Signorina? I need to collect my people. Sir, you're just the person I was looking for. What's wrong? My child is missing. I just know he did it. Today is the festival. We could lose track of them. I'll have my subordinates find them. Don't worry. Thank you. Please do. I feel like I read her lines wrong. But it'll be fine. Here, let me look at the log. <clears throat> I just know he did it. No, I read it right. Oh, fuck only knows what that was about. Oh, sorry, Bunny, I... It's fine. I can go around the festival on my own. Good luck with your work. Find that guy, okay? Oh, of course I will. <laughs> I promise I'll be back as soon as possible. Okay. I'll see you later. I guess the dawn has it tough even on days like this. Carmia vanished into the darkness of the festival-dyed town. She watched him leave as she mumbled to herself. She looked up to the sky just in time to catch sight of another meteor burning a path through the overflowing sea of stars. That's right, I have to wish on a star. I wish that Mr. Carmia... That Mr. Carmia will come home safe today. Signorina. Huh? I'm so glad I finally found you. I've been searching for you this whole time. Where are you? See, si. I'm sorry we couldn't enjoy the festival together in the end. How was it? Did you have fun? Yes, lots. Good. Hearing you say that makes me feel better. Seems like you were really busy tonight. <laughs> See, I don't begrudge it because that's part of my job as the Don, but I'd be lying if I said it didn't wear me out at times. Oh, the meteor shower is already over. Mr. Carmia, did you wish for anything?
I had to move my knee and sneeze. Okay. Ah, well. You forgot? Yeah, sorry. That's why I brought it up earlier. Well, this isn't really a wish the stars can grant. Actually, as long as I'm brave enough, I can say it. I'm not sure whether it'll come true or not, though. So, Sinirena, do you mind if I bring up something a bit more serious? Serious? See. About you and me. Um, I've always thought of you as someone to be protected. Maybe it makes sense to describe it as a paternal relationship. I have fatherly feelings towards you. <laughs> but, and I know this is me being selfish, but I think I've started to develop different feelings. I love you. I feel at ease when I'm with you, and I feel sad when we're apart. I think it's because I'm in love with you. When did I start seeing you as a woman, Signorina? Mr. Carmia. <laughs> I know I'm being selfish. I must have startled you by blur blurting that out so suddenly. If you turn me down, I won't let it affect our relationship and I won't use my position to make you uncomfortable. That I swear to you. So, could you give me an honest answer? How do you feel about me? Here we go, here we go, here we go! I... I love you too. Oh! <laughs> That's great! He hugged her out of joy. He gently kissed her forehead and buried his face in her hair. I was so worried. Just because I was in love with you didn't mean that you felt the same way. I worried that it might ruin our relationship, so it would have been better to just remain your guardian and protector. I'm glad I had the courage to tell you. I'm so glad you feel the same way. <laughs> Thank you. I hope our love can blossom, my beloved Signorina. The shooting stars may be gone, but I swear upon the glittering stars in the sky, I will make you happy. And there we go! That, uh, 
that's just how it be. So the next period, the next time that I record, we'll be finishing up whatever Karami route this is, and we'll be tying up the uh, the other routes and stuff like that, the one after that, and we're almost there. We're almost there to seeing what the truth is. Almost there. So yeah, see you next time. I'm looking forward to it. Um, you all have a nice day night, evening, week, whatever. Um, yeah. Bye-bye.